Hi, today we're looking into SQL Payroll and how we can actually generate EA form for your staff together with how you can actually include any form of benefit in kind given to the staff for that particular year. Alright, so before we can actually even generate your EA form, we would like to actually make sure that we check your yearly payroll to make sure everything is done correctly. Alright, so to do that, we need to come here to Payroll. We can come to Print Yearly Individual Reports. Click here. Of course, we have to make sure that we have changed the year to 2020 and of course the months would need to be 12 months. So once we're done, we just press apply. Alright, so you can see every individual staff will be on your left hand side. And of course, each month's contribution will be spread out on a month by month basis to give you a total value here. So from here, you can actually check whether each contribution is consistent and is correct. Right? So after checking and making sure everything is correct, and now we can actually generate your EA form. To do that, we just come to Payroll. Here we have one called Government Reports and here we have one called Print Income Tax EA Form. Okay, click Print Income Tax EA Form. Again, we need to make sure that the year changed to 2020. Once done, we just press Apply. Alright, so from here straight away, you can actually generate all your different staff's EA Form. So if there's no changes, we just click Preview. Then we will select either 2020 BM or 2020 English. So let's say today I want to use English report. So press OK. So here you can actually see we have our individual EA forms. Of course, straight away you can actually print out. If you want, then you can actually share and email out or send out through WhatsApp. Okay. So this will be your individual EA forms. If, for example, in this particular year, you actually give some form of benefit kinds, so what happens is we will need to make some amendment in this column 3, benefit in kind, and specify what is it. Alright, so to do that, let's close this. Then you can see here, there's one called Prince, please select employee, click here. Okay, let's say Lee Chong Wai is the one that we want to change, click here, press customize EA form. Alright, then from here we can open this up. So here you can actually see uh, there's one called Manfa Berupa Perangan. So let's say today he gets a handphone. Alright, so we can put here handphone and we can say okay the handphone is 3999. Once done, we actually can save it here and we close this. Alright, so from here if you can see let's say number stuff number one. If you want to include that field, we go field chooser, select employee code. Here, drag down. Here you can see, okay, staff number one, Lee Chong Wai. Right? So once we want to generate with the benefit kind, we need to press apply again. So straight away you can see this particular stuff is highlighted in yellow to show that there's actually a change to the EA form. So if you want to generate the EA form with the 3999, we need to preview again. Say 2020 English again. Press OK. So we will go and find zoom in. This number two. You can get the Lee Chong Wai. So if you look at here now, currently you can actually see benefit kinds, handphone, and then there's a value 3999 inside here. So thereafter you can print and you can pass it to your staff. Alright. So that's it for today. We hope that you find this useful. To like and subscribe to get notified when we release a new guide. Thank you.